The sacred flame illuminates our path. Good. You're both here. I have a favor to ask. Baron's wandered off. I think it might help you help if you and your disheveled friend here find her. She'll be in Light's Redoubt. Your flame brings hope. Why did you ask us both here? Baron is quiet about her hurt. But she lost a close friend recently. She doesn't listen to advice from us soldiers anymore. Us old soldiers anymore. Talk to her, will you? She'll be in Light's Redoubt. I see. On Shira. I'll meet you there. I mean, to be fair, you've quit FF14 now forever, right? You're a 24-7 WoW player forever now, right? <laughs> Copium. Look, all things in life must be in balance, and the truth is, if I did nothing but WoW, I would go fucking insane. A lamplighter brings her. Baron looks into the darkness with glazed over eyes. Your friend sent us to see how you're doing. Are you alright? Clear your throat, but say nothing. If you are lost in darkness, we are Oh, did, did something happen? I was just paying my respects. You lost someone here. It's... It's okay if you want to talk about it. We're here. Baron sighs and shakes her head. And Ari, my best friend. I never had time to say goodbye, but no. I should get back to Meraldar. I can't wallow here. Let's go. Anduin struggles for words and fails, falling silent. We are a light in the dark. Baron smiles, but it doesn't reach her eyes. And Ari fell in the darkness, alone holding off a small horde of monsters from reaching a tower I was defending. I should have gone to them. I should have been strong enough. <sighs> Be strong, my friend. Anduin chews his lip, lost in thought. I do what I can. There was a time when I would have known what words to say to help her. But now, they are as lost to me as everything else. There must be something we can do. Her old lamplighter companion, this Andari, would have had one of those tinder boxes, right? They seem important for funeral rites. I'll accompany Farin back to Meraldar and meet you there. If you think there's hope of finding Andari's lost belongings, could you try to look? Inspire others to do better. Who sent you after me? Steel Strike? Kieran? I swear I'll... Oh no! I'm not ratting anyone out. But there are people worried about you. They care. Baron pauses and smiles and nods. Do you think Talanji will play a major role at some point? I wish we get more stuff with her and Bonsomni in the future. I think that that'll, you know, I think all of those threads will hopefully start to be tied together in the long run. You know, Talanji I think will be relevant. Saying that Tess Greymane is, you know. Chandra's Feathermoon. That's it, chat. I'm gonna do it. I'm shipping Anduins. I mean... I think a lot of people are going to do that. Was she even in Dragonflight? Talanji? No, but would she have been relevant to Dragonflight in like a meaningful way? Probably not. 
it's one of the issues with WoW's story is that it kind of sh has to shelve characters for certain topics because they're only so relevant to those topics. Um, but hopefully, you know, I don't know. A small figurine painted somewhat sloppily in, in reds and golds. It looks old. I mean, if Anduin Rin and Farin Lothar were to commingle, then we, you're right, we would technically have, potentially, well, she would probably take the name Rin, but then technically it's Anduin Rin Lothar, which would be crazy. That would be crazy. Well, she's the champion of Monsomni, so kind of would have been relevant. How would the champion of Bwansamdi would have been relevant in Dragonflight? What are what are you what are you fucking talking about? Royalty above royalty, right there. What happened in, in Dragonflight that Bwansamdi is relevant to? Didn't Vol'jin have a quest line or something? Was that in DF or was that in Shadowlands? Isn't that Shadowlands? Both, I thought? Mm, I don't really remember. I think Emerald Dream and Ysera, but that's a stretch to be fair. Oh, you meant Shadowlands? Well, Bonsomni is relevant in Shadowlands. He's the entire Ardenweald quest campaign. Have a good night, Guthin. Bonsomni is like directly relevant to the Winter Queen. It's pretty heavily suggested that Bwansamni and the Winter Queen are former lovers. You? No. Broken trinket, beaten and chipped, but perhaps this was a piece of armor or jewelry or game piece? Engraved dagger, broken near the hilt, but the name Andari can clearly be seen engraved upon the handle. Clearly, Andari had a lot of daggers. Good for him. Kind of been lurking mostly, but I'm gonna head out. Have a good night, Jess Kylo. Kind of want Anduin to be lonely and maidenless for the War Within. I mean, I could see it happening for, like, maybe the base War Within. But, you know. Healthy relationships make you stronger. Feather on a stick. It's been his whole life. Damn, let him get some. <laughs> yeah. And same for Farin. I mean, she's seemingly never had a, a partner either, so they seem like two pretty similar age young people who have very similar ideals, and she's already doing things to try to support him and kind of opening his eyes to maybe the truth of who he is. Kind of kind of help opening his eyes to, you know, to what she sees. And I don't know, I, I think to a degree that's what that's what love is about. What about Anduin and Anduin and Talia? What about him? I think I think I think Farron's way more interesting, personally. Also, maybe I'm wrong, but I didn't get the Anduin and Talon uh uh Talia vibes personally. Would they work together is what I was wondering? I don't know. Did you do the Lights Gambit side quest? Uh maybe? Breathes the same air as another character. Wild players. Oh, they're definitely fucking. People want to ship Anduin with everyone. Talia Tess and, of course, Rathian. <laughs> I don't know. Once Anduin sees Zal's toes, he might change it up. <laughs> yeah, Norganon. Yeah. And if it's peaceful and if it's true love, then, then the better. You know? The worst scenarios is when someone is like uh, sent over as basically what's a war, a war prisoner. What what's that called? When they marry to st just so that they don't go to war. What what, are they, what do they call that? There's a word for that. I think. Put anyone in a polycule with Rathian and Favorite and piss everyone off. Jesus Christ. See now that's just unnecessary. <laughs> 
I ship Illyria and Zal? Oh. Okay. That was a thing in Final Fantasy 16 where they had the... What's her face? It's like a fucking... It's like a war prisoner so that they don't... So that they don't... So that they don't war. Maybe I need to pick this game up after all? Huh. <laughs> award? Yeah, award. Yeah, yeah, award. So what I'm saying is that's the worst that's the worst scenario, right? When it's like we're only doing it because it's an arranged thing. When you have two potential heirs, you know, fall in love in this way. If that happens, you know, we don't know. I think the hints are kind of there, though, I'm going to be honest. I don't say that type of shit easily. I, d I don't. So, I feel like they're, they're, I feel like they're kind of, they're kind of hinting at some stuff. Would be neat if Illyria's kid becomes relevant to the story. Erator? Oh, I'm sure Erator is going to be relevant to the story. I think a lot of these bigger, popular, not necessarily one of the most core characters in Erator, but I think he'll be, he'll be relevant. Sex havers? I know. What a concept. Next X pack for elves. Yeah, the humans are getting their love right now. Kalia's still around? That's true. The Lord are on. I will see you through the shadow. There's no time to mourn. Not when there's fighting to be done. If you have time to mourn, you have time to train. To make sure we don't lose anyone else. We carry the flame into the unknown. You found their things? In all the darkness? Thank you. And this... This is... Don't give in to fear. This... Ha! <laughs> and Dari must have been painting this figurine for me. It's for a game many Arathi play here, Light's Gambit. When we lost pieces, and Dari and I started to make our own. It's... It's just a hobby. It's a board game? How do you play? I've enjoyed a few myself. Baron's eyes brighten in excitement. Are you fucking kidding me right now, chat? You see what's happening right now? Are you kidding me? There is powerful shipping energy here. Are you fucking kidding me? Between these two? Oh my goodness. When Shadow Light Scan that is an old and honored game. Eyes. There's a reason so many Arathi play it. They're playing 40k, bro. It can teach you a lot about strategy, and it can tell you a lot about your opponents. Erdin suddenly deviates, deflates, pardon me, but we're still missing a few pieces that we need in order to play. Sometimes folks around Meraldar lend us pieces for a game. Could you ask around? Despite everything, the Orathi find joy. So, in Light's Gambit, we'll take opposite sides of the board and try to take each other down with our pieces' abilities. We should wait for Anshara to get back to explain the rules. Right, right. We can go set up the table and get some drinks. Anshara, meet us at the game table upstairs when you're done. What is going on? This is so, this is so wholesome. What the fuck? This is so wholesome. This is so cute. What the fuck? We will not allow. I can't remember the last time I did simple something as simple as playing a game. And you? Together, we will be victorious. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, Anduin. You shut the fuck up. You stop it right now. Oh man, the fourth wall breaking here is killing me. I think both characters are incredibly lonely and have trouble connecting with anyone. Ironically, it's how they end up bonding with each other. I think so too. The fact that they share conviction in the light and, f and faith, at least Anduin once did and Faerun still does so boldly. I mean... <laughs> yeah. We owe our service the rules are a bit lengthy, but trust me, it's worth it. In my heart, Even if it's not romantic love, you can tell there's potential for them to become incredibly important to each other. 
Sure. Sure. Go back and sit in chair. You get like a unique... You... <laughs> why... I will help anyone in need. This is why backseating is annoying. Because if it results in something, I don't mind it as much. But when nothing happens, I fucking hate that. <laughs> he has to do the quest, guys. It's okay. It's all good. We'll just do this. And then we'll, we'll go back and sit. I'll make sure I'll sit. Kiera Horth. Kiera hums as she surprise. cooks, smiling. The pan smells of onions and garlic. Baron wants to know if you have a light gambit game piece to spare. Walk in the light. Of course, here's a piece. Though Beria may have chewed it a bit. <laughs> Don't let Farron beat you. I'll try not to. She's probably gonna beat me. Would you recommend doing main quests or side quests first? You can, what I did is I did side quests as I leveled in the first two zones. As I did the main story, I kind of did the quests in the area kind of as I went. In this, in Hollowfall and in Ashkahet, I'm gonna be doing the main storylines and then um, probably side quests after. In Ashkahet, I'm gonna be honest with you, I might go back to just doing both simultaneously. I don't think that Hollowfall has necessarily been better as a result of me splitting it in half. I think this feels like more of a grind, to be honest, and it feels like I rushed through the MSQ, um, and now I'm like just doing side quests. I really do think that they should be done probably at the same time, at least for me. I think it, it's more enjoyable. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that again for Ashkahet, probably. The world gets built way better when you do it all at once, in my opinion. Anyone a master at making transmogs? I'm looking at making a shadow paladin mog and need ideas. Um, well, there's a paladin set from the Tomb of Sargeras. That's a purple. I would recommend the, that, at least parts of it. It's one of the only ones in the game. There's also purple judgment that you maybe could mix with this. But this is one of the only purple pally sets in the whole game. So I would highly recommend going for that. You can queue Raid Finder for... Uh, uh, Tomb of Sargeras in Dalaran, at the NPC in front of the uh, in front of the Violet uh, Hold. Pretty sure DF has some purple pally sets. Right, it's one of. It's one of. Can't pallies use DK transmogs now? Uh, no. Pallies can't wear Death Knight sets. No. That and purple silver hand mace with the shadow moon illusion would look really good. Yeah. Is it possible to do old content with others like in FF? Not in the same way, no. This game doesn't have like a minimum item level. Uh, but it would be interesting if it did. If you wanted to go back and do that. You are an outsider, yes? Welcome. May the flame warm your path. Farron wants to know if you have a light's gambit piece to spare. We are all the Emperor's Here's subjects. one. Are you going to play a game with Farron? Let her know I'm ready for a rematch whenever she is. There might have been um, generic armor sets that weren't specific to a class that were recolor sets in Mop Remix. So in that way, if you got like a plate set that maybe only belonged to Death Knight originally and collected that, as long as it's not Death Knight specific, then you should be able to wield it on any plate wearer or transmog it on any plate wearer, you know? As long as it's not an actual class item. Keth weren't. Interesting name. 
Keth turns from his game and mimics striking with an invisible weapon. And then BAM! Stormbreaker crushes you with the swing of his mighty axe! Take that, monster! What's up, TV Bala? I did 16 and a half yesterday. Quest. Farron wants to know if you have a light's gambit game piece to spare. Ah, But Garrigan the Great was about to have his final battle with the Shadow Lord! It's okay. We can use Clary's doll. Oh, do you think Clary might want to play with us? Garrigan the Great was about to have his final battle with the Shadow Lord. You guys know Sargeras' title is The Great? It was one of them anyway. The Great Sargeras. Garrigan the Great. It's probably not related, but having his final battle with the Shadow Lord? Hmm. The Great. The Great Sargeras. The Grape Sargeras. It's purple version. I swear, Merildar feels teeming with life. It feels so alive. <clears throat> it does. It's well designed, dude. The ambiance and everything's so good. The all right Sargeras. The pretty cool Sargeras. A Void Lord. The last Titan Sarg vs. Void. Cargan Fair Lifen. <clears throat> Belladar shifts. It is Hello, inevitable. Friend. Are you interested in some tomes? Don't give in to fear. Here's a piece I made Reclaim to go. your power. Here's a piece I made to go with some custom ability rules I'm working on. Let Farron know the new abilities are almost done, will you? I'd love to have her test them out. <clears throat> I want to play this game. Mamma Mia, Void, you cannot do this. Who's your favorite gnome and why is it Wilfred Fizzlebang? My favorite gnome? I think Mechatork's pretty cool, to be honest with you. Wilfred Fizzlebang's alright. His legendary was alright. Was it Wilfred Sigil of Superior Summoning? Millhouse Manastorm. Millhouse Manastorm. <clears throat> I can't yell it because, uh, you know. Oh, firecrackers. Did I forget to explain base powers? Well, if your unit collects enough... Ah, Anshara. Sorry. I think we got a little ahead of ourselves. Perrin's already explained the rules. Well, most of them anyway. You're just in time for the best part. The combat. Come, join us. We cannot hide from evil. We might have get might have gone a bit ahead of ourselves. It's all right. A beacon. In it's the fine. Dark. We can catch you up on the rest of the rules later. Resolving combat is the most fun anyway. <clears throat> you and Anduin can team up against me. Perhaps with the both of you together, you'll stand a chance. Baron laughs. Grab the last. <laughs> grab the castle piece to start a game of lights gambit with Farron and Anduin. Commemorative lights gambit championship signet. <laughs> Despite everything, sit down, join us. Joy. Grab that castle piece when you're ready to play. It's a good game so far, Anshara. I think you'll like it. Do like hand motions with it, can't help it. Watch the kobold of this place become emissaries to stop kobold attacks in human lands and establishing diplomacy, and then I'm gonna have to eat my fucking words, bro. Here we go. It's your team against my one unit. Cleric Knight Easy. Castle. You win by getting my unit's health to zero. I win by getting Thank you very much, Anonymous Gifter, for getting two subs. Enjoy that, uh, carefully that and mount. Your units or not mount, that, that pet. Don't worry. <clears throat> I won't Thank start you so much. until you make your first move. Your castle has a powerful ranged attack, but it can't move. The other two can move and have both ranged and melee abilities. Try using an ability. Each unit can only do one ability. Then it has to recharge. While it's recharging, switch to another unit. Move your pieces around the board to avoid my attacks and deal your own. The first player to wipe out the other side's team wins. Let's do this.
No. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. <clears throat> Whoopsie. You won! Firecrackers, you got me. That was a good game. You'll be Meraldar's new champion before you know it. New champions. Hey, we fucking got her into it. Let's go. Little fist bump right there, dude. Huh. Feyrin suddenly looks away. I... Thank you for this. I'm having fun. Andari would have loved playing with you two. <clears throat> yeah, and then I wouldn't have to be a third wheel. We'll st we're still here for you, if you want to talk about it. I think... Yeah, I think I'd like that. When shadow falls, lamp I think it's time we get going. Just completely skip it. Do you have family in Hollowfall? Light's Gambit is full of interesting decisions. Will you hold your cleric back to protect your castle, or send it forward to heal your knight? There are other encounters, too. Different situations call for different strategies. Though I personally think you can't go wrong by just blasting your enemy to bits as quickly as possible. In every situation. I like this character. I agree. Just blasting your enemy to bits as quickly as possible. I go for the full zerg. Huh. You have any family in Hollowfall? We carry the flame into the unknown. She laughs. No. My family is still in the Empire. I stowed away on the expedition because I too heard Belladar's call. I was never supposed to be here. You left home so young. Your parents must be worried sick. If my parents had their way, I'd be locked in a library. Anything other than a disappointment. I used to think my father was just as disappointed in me. By the end, I like to think we've finally started to understand each other. I hope you get the same chance with your family. Baron smiles ruefully. That would require me ever going back. We cannot hide from evil. Which was Andari's favorite figurine. Be strong, my friend. That one, painted in red. It was the first I tried to paint. It was difficult, given... I lost my arm and I, when our ships arrived in Hallowfall. All I remember is a flash of light, then... I was under something, screaming. When I came back to, my arm and I were gone. I was so unbalanced, I had to learn to walk again. Like a child. Steel Strike had been the one to dig me out. She said my choice to stow away meant I was a soldier, not a child. in the darkness. Do you regret stowing away? Stowing away was a foolish thing to do. Steel Strike was too harsh on you. I'm sorry. Do you regret stowing away? If you are lost in darkness, we are here to help. I don't regret anything. I wanted to give... I wanted to live up to Steel Strike's expectations. I refused to be... <clears throat> any less than the rest of the army. I trained endlessly. Andari convinced me to play Light's Gambit to learn strategy. By the time I realized they were actually getting me to rest, I was hooked. When we lost pieces, I wanted to make new ones. Because of my missing arm, 
I had to figure out new ways to fight, to eat, to dress myself, even. And yet, crafting this tiny game piece with one arm was my greatest challenge yet. Because of Andari, I rose to it not with grim determination, but joy. Andari healed me. Not my wounds. Not my missing limbs. And not with magic. But something inside, and now... They're gone. Aaron chokes on a sob. There is so much loss in this expansion. Holy fuck. We owe our service to those in need. Andari sounds very kind. I'm sorry for your loss. Give Faerun a gentle pat on the shoulder. Say nothing. Andari sounds very kind. I'm sorry for your loss. Don't give in to fear. Faerun wipes tears from her eyes. Thank you. Thank you both for listening. I fought so hard to be seen as strong, to earn my place. I love my people, but it's hard to let... to let the walls down. You... have to let the walls down eventually, before they all come crumbling down around you. You don't have to do it alone. Be kinder to yourself. Care to take your own advice? Theron smiles through tears. Anduin snorts. I think it was you who said something like that to me, for first. Perhaps we both need to learn to take our own advice. Fuck. <laughs> Damn. All optional stay a while and listen dialogue pieces, dude. My faith Unfucking real. My hope. Tell me more about the Arathi Empire. In my heart, there is fire. Vast, powerful, and bathed in the light. The Empire is a force to be reckoned with. It sounds like a visit would be an interesting journey, Baron grimaces. To be honest, I'm not sure how kindly the mainland would take to the variety of peoples you all keep company with. We in Hallowfall know beggars can't be choosers. We need all the help we can get. And you all have proven to be fine folk, but the Empire is not so open-minded. Or so desperate. Don't you miss home? Baron laughs wryly. I really, truly thought I would. I became the person I am under Belladar's light. This is my home now. And were I to leave, I would much sooner travel the lands you all hail from. This stormwind you speak of. If you don't take me someday, I'll go stomping around up there myself. Are you fucking kidding me? She's hitting him with lines like, If you don't take me someday? Bro, <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? Look, if they don't fucking send these two characters, I don't know what the fuck is going on. This is unbelievable. Anduin chuckles. These two are risen the fuck out of each other right now. This is crazy. I know I can help. There's more from him. He has his own? What? Everyone deserves a chance. <laughs> what? A beacon in the dark. Okay, we got three more. <laughs> do you miss Stormwind? I do what I can. Of course. Of course I miss home. A new human kingdom. What's it like? Grand. Beautiful. Filled with so many different types of people. I miss the fresh bread at the Gilded Rose. Magical accidents in the Mage District. The festivals, the, the people. So then why don't you go back? <sighs> I can't. Not yet. Who would want to see what their king has become? No. No. Soon. One step at a time. Anduin nods. 
We will not allow Zalatath to triumph. You seem to like born get board games, Anduin. Together, we will be victorious. My father would play with me sometimes. We'd go to the war room and he'd let me play with the figurines. Figures. We made up all sorts of games together. None of them made much sense. But we had fun. He sounds like a wonderful father. Anduin smiles ruefully. It was... complicated. He did his best. I've spent so long trying to be him. <laughs> to be the great warrior king that leads the charge. To be the hero everyone wants me to be. Some hero I am. Couldn't save anyone. Much less myself. We are in this together. <sighs> the tides can turn at any time. <clears throat> like how you could decimate Farin's army right now if you use your healer to revive the cavalry next to her knight. Everyone deserves a chance. Hey, don't help him. And here I was trying to figure out how to get my footman forward without losing him. Leaving your knight out in the open, Farin. Risky. You kept ignoring your healer. How was I supposed to resist taking advantage of that? I know I can help. That game would have been lost without the healer. Little, little healer love here. Inspire others to do better. Anshara is right. Things can change if you make the move to change them. So what's your move, Anduin? Anduin looks between the two of you for a long moment then smiles slightly. I'm here, aren't I? Perhaps the move has already been made, but I will think more on the next one. I will help anyone in need. There is so much more of this <laughs> than I was expecting there to be. I just mean this, this dialogue stuff. How much, how much there is. I mean. Rathian has done much since returning to the Dragon Isles. Have you had any contact? Everyone deserves a chance. He's tried. I've been dodging Black Talons almost as much as SI7. I know he just wants to help. Like the others. What could they say? What could I say? Rathian had his greatest wish before him in the Dragon Isles, to reunite with his flight. The last thing I want would be to distract him from that purpose. Anduin. Wait a moment. You're friends with a dragon? A, a dragon? You're just casually friends with a legendary beast known to scour lands and grant wishes? I don't think Rathian would be keen on either of those things. He's self-centered and boastful and a, a good friend I should not have neglected for so long. We also often played a game together, much like this. I think this one's even more suited to his tastes. He'd like it. Well then, when you go to apologize, you'll have to introduce me. This shit is so aggressively done, dude. Holy shit. I'm not sure Stormwind would survive the chaos caused by the two of you in one room. This is out of control right here. An Anduin's best friend? Dude, this is... This is so out of control. This is so out of control. 
She's telling him to take her up there. He's talking about me. Him meeting her best friend. This is incredible. Look at this, dude. They are full sending these two characters. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. If they do not send these characters, if, if, if this does not become a thing, I will be fucking surprised. I will be legitimately surprised. This, this is aggressively done. I'm okay with it. I don't give a fuck. Not like badly aggressively, but enough to really, I think that they're really fucking trying to get this point across. Introducing her to his friends. I mean, he's the shy shelled up king. Not that she doesn't have her own shit going on. It's a beacon of obvious. We don't get enough romance in this game, to be honest. We don't. And that's why when Malfurion showed up and Deronda went running into his arms and they embraced and kissed, I was like, wow, dude, this is so fucking, this is like, this doesn't happen in World of Warcraft. Like, this is fucking crazy. These two have been a couple for thousands of years, though. Like, they should be deeply connected. And they never really show that. So... I don't know, I think it's good, dude. When you grow up, you realize, you know, some of us, not everybody, but most people, you know, they're interested in having a partner or being in a relationship of some kind, having a love interest. I don't know, you re look like, you know, I've been with Ariel for five years now and being married and stuff has also changed our relationship and I just, I don't know, dude. You fucking, you, it's like, it's like, you know, I don't know what I'm trying to say. You value it more. I don't know. Congrats, PM, five years. I was reading for Test Grey Mainship, but this is a lot more interesting. This is also actually being built. That's the thing. The Test Grey Main thing is nowhere near this. This is... Anduin is meeting this person at a pivotal moment in his own, like, life. In... in a point of necessary growth. He's meeting a, a person who says she has a flame in her heart. Dude, fire is so related to passion and change and rebirth. It's not even funny, dude. Then you add holiness into it and it's just like, a, it's another level, right? So this is like, this is like pivotal storytelling for Anduin and Farin right here. This is pretty, this is pretty crazy. Uh, they don't do this kind of stuff in WoW very often. If ever. I honestly think she could be to Anduin as Tiffin was to Varian. It's no mistake that when he jumps off that fucking ship, it's got the fucking, you know, he's it's got the, when he goes down there, it's got the song from when Varian jumped off the ship. You guys heard that, right? Hopefully you did. If you didn't, in the cinematic, dude, right there, and when you're getting ready to go down to Ashkahet, it plays. It plays the, the same melody in there. It's so fucking good, dude. Oh, it's so good. And then the shot, dude. Ah, I can't believe they did the shot with Illyria hanging off the fucking ropes, dude. That was so sick. I can't believe they did that. I can't believe it. that was one of the most satisfying things I've seen in this expansion so far. I do like that Midnight is twelve. Nice touch. Yeah. I'm curious what's going on. With the uh, Holofall, Arathi, when the Empire shows up and goes full evil on their new friends, us. Yeah. Yeah, what Feyrin just said about that was not great. Also, Feyrin believes that dragons are known to scour lands and grant wishes. So, that sounds like... I mean, she's never seen one. She's only heard heard legends. But I wonder where that comes from. If that comes from people here or people back where they come from, like Legends of Dragons. Granting wishes is an interesting thing. I, I know that that's like a thing in, in other fantasy, but I don't think that that's a thing in WoW. That Emerald Dragon did fly off. That's kind of what I was thinking. That green dragon that made it over the storm, stormy seas or whatever, and there, everyone's like, oh yeah, she's dead. But then it, it, set, it makes that remark in that book uh, that some dragons see them in her dr see her in their dreams and they and they and that sh there may even be an entire flight of green dragons over there which is fucking nuts that's crazy so frankly i mean if we wanted to use the i guess the most obviously available other continent for where the fucking arathi are i think it would have to be avaloran since we don't know of any others in terms of 
names or anything like that. So, I, I think that'd be very cool. Another continent where there's a different flight of fucking dream dragons that maybe even have different directives or powers or something. It's fucking crazy. The Arathi Empire, how would they interact if they do at all? If they believe they're mythical and stuff, maybe they don't interact at all? I don't know. That's fun to think about. Arathi Empire must be so isolated to not know and see other races other than humans. Avaloran does sound very Arathor like Well, the thing is, that could also be the place where the Titan heretics went. And if those heretics perhaps were, st were still on that island, maybe the uh, that subsect of Arathi was still in some way connected with the Titan Forged. Maybe that's why they... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Just some things to consider of like, maybe they're, and maybe the, if those were Titan Forged against the Titans, what does that look like? Is the, I don't know, are the Arathi, would they be cool with them or would they fight against them or like, well, how would that be? I don't know. King Arathor of Avaloran. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Avalon, yeah, King Arthur and so on. Oh, shit. The Emperor of Man, oh my god. This whole other continent shit's got me fucked up, dude. We're actually gonna end up going to another continent and we're gonna find some crazy shit. That's so cool. They must follow the King Arthur storyline. I mean, that's what Six believes. I'm pretty sure it was Six that was telling me that, that he was really excited about all the Arthur Arthurian stuff that's being mixed into it. May maybe, it I think it was, I can't remember. Is there a Wuklamot? <laughs> there is no Wuklamot. Speen! Imagine if his name is Thoradin, Emperor Thoradin. That would be... Yeah, and he has the, his, his Knights of the Round. Dude. Dude. Like, tw like fucking 12 chosen fucking champions or something, or however many there are. Oh my god. I'd be... I'd be... Oh my god. The t <sighs> yeah, the round, dude. Knights of the Round table, dude. I'm not certain how spoilery it is to say, but we know the name of the Emperor of Light. Do you learn it from like a book or a side quest or? Someone cracked the Arathi alphabet in the big book in the church says the Emperor's name. Okay, I think that was all their bonus dialogue. I think it's time we get going. Complete quest objective. Inspire others to do better. I should be getting back to my post. Thank you both for this. I think I needed that too. We owe our service to those in need. I hope you found that relaxing too. I didn't realize how much we all needed a break. You two had better come to me. You, you two had better make time to come and play me again. Next time. We could play the game I learned in Pandaria. Farin, I think you find its approach to victory as interesting as Rathian did. I have no idea what that means, but I'm excited to find out.